and we are on the Spoil Island number 13. And who do we have here? What brings you out? Hi there, I'm Pam Phillips. I'm here to bring greetings from Tallahassee. I'm the External Affairs Administrator for the Office of Water Policy, which means that we support both the Basin Management Action Plans for the Indian River Lagoon and the Indian River Lagoon Aquatic Preserve Program. So we're delighted to be a part of this unique effort with Spoil Island adopters as they have their first day where they meet and greet each other and hopefully organize to do an even more fantastic job for the lagoon. Yes, and you have some people with you? Who do we have? Yeah, I'm Brian Sharp. I'm the Aquatic Preserve Manager for the Indian River Lagoon Aquatic Preserves, which is actually a series of seven aquatic preserves ranging from Mosquito Lagoon in Volusia County all the way down to Lake Worth Creek in Palm Beach County. And my my team uh, manages the uh, waters of the, aquatic, uh, the Indian River Lagoon Aquatic Reserve and all the tributaries and rivers. We have over 108,000 acres of uh, submerged resources that we manage as well as all of the spoil islands. So we're out here today with uh, a large contingent of the public that is interested in what we do and supportive of what we do and in turn we are supportive of them and their ideas were a very volunteer driven um, part of DEP and we're out here to work with the public, for the public, and for the environment. We've seen recently all the issues about the water quality and what we're having in this community and how bad our waterways are getting because of failed regulations or removing regulations from the state and federal government side. So with your help, certainly I need your help to talk to Tallahassee, talk to the federal government in helping us clean up our waterways and the environment for our future, for our children and their children to, 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 to come. Um, I didn't realize I was going to say anything, but I'm a politician. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> you know, I really want to thank each and every one of you because these items are very important to us. And I, I'm going to commit to you all today that I'm going to get our uh, county website up and running and start linking opportunities to FDEP and motorized kayaks and, and, and using on the forest side to gain more volunteers so we can adopt more islands and do a lot more good. So I'm going to commit that to you today. And uh, again, thank you so very much. I appreciate everything you do. Clyde Gibbons with Charles Hello. of Fort Pierce and we are here on the first annual Preservation Day and Dana, what are we doing here? We are actually planting young red mangroves. There are three species of mangroves found here in Florida and throughout the Indian River Lagoon. We have the red, white, and the black mangrove. We are planting the red mangroves. Uh, you can actually see a mature red mangrove right behind me. You can see probably why they're nicknamed the walking trees. They have large crop roots that help them. Looks like they're walking across the water and across the land. It's they are excellent shoreline stabilizers, which is why we like to put, plant them along these eroding shorelines. And right now we brought about 50 or so out here today for um, to have folks help plant us. And we're almost done, which is excellent. So these are about thank you, one to one and a half years old. Um, and you can see what how big they can grow up. These are also not as, as large as they could get. So they, they turn into some really excellent trees that are really critical to the health of the lagoon.